what's going on and welcome 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 I am Tanya Paxic if this is your first time seeing me uh, if you have seen me all the time and you're following me then what's up what's going on I hope you are killing it out there and doing your thing and your business all right so we've been going through this series it was a 10-day series and um, it was about how to reach your market, right? And so I was thinking, right? God forbid I think, right? No, but seriously, I was thinking and I'm like, okay, well then what happens after, right? So what happens after you have your market? You've given them attention, you've done all your things and, and everything, all the tips and tricks that I told you. Well, I didn't want to leave you hanging, right? That wouldn't be very nice of me, would it? So what, I, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to do a quick six-part series, and we're going to talk about influence. Yummy topic, right? Okay, so, you know, after you've gotten your, 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 your target audience engaged and they're loving you and all that good stuff, right, you want to start working on influence, right? And, you know, influence is your capacity to, to affect a person's character, right? A, a, a development or a behavior of somebody, right? And a lot of times we can confuse influence with persuasion, right? Because persuade, to be persuasive, my goodness, say that five times fast. But to be persuasive means that you are... It's an act of trying to make somebody believe something or to, to see things how you see it, right? And the problem that I have with persuasion is that unfortunately, with persuasion, you are trying to sell somebody something, a vision or whatever, a thought process, and they don't necessarily get this conviction about it, right? They don't necessarily have this big revelation about it. They don't make this shift, this transition in their thinking, which will then affect them for their whole entire life down the line and, and you know, be that one moment that they got this aha, right? It, it's, it doesn't do that. See, persuasion, a lot of times, it's like a, seeing an ad of a, cheeseburger oh my god it's so awesome right and you see it and it looks so amazing right and then you go to purchase it and you're like what is this this is not a cheeseburger this is not what I saw in the ad like you know you told me this and I believed you and and you know and you sold me on it and then now I'm not happy like you know what's going on I want the cheeseburger I saw in the ad, right? Or it's a process of, of, of doing that and then they just feel kind of gypped at the end, right? So in your business, once you have your followers, you want them to continue following you and you want them to build a connection with you in a relationship. Well, Tanya, how do you do this online? Well, I'm glad you asked and you're watching the series so you should know by the time we are done with the series, right? So in this series, I'm really excited to bring that to you today. I just wanted to make sure that you understood the difference between persuasion and influence and that you're really careful that you don't, you know, side more so on the persuasive part, um, really salesy and making people feel uncomfortable as opposed to the influence part where you can change somebody's life and help them, uh, uh, take a step closer to achieving their goal or um, giving them a piece of information that will help them transform the time that they spend with their family or whatever industry that you're in, right? So I'm glad that you're going to join me on this series. Share it, love it, like it, tell the world about it. <laughs> I'm, I just had some ice cream, so I have some sugar in me. So you'll enjoy my giddiness at this point. I'll try to keep it consistent for you. But anyway, there's a difference between influence and persuasion. Let's get into influence. So share it and uh, definitely comment below. I'll see you in the next video.